Hi, I'm Frank, and we're in the deep end. Be sure to subscribe, like, and ring the bell. That helps us get our message out there. Now let's learn some pool stuff. What we face a lot of here in Texas Mm -hmm. is rats love to get into pool heaters. I had a new guy with me. Is that that first employee Mm -hmm. I ever had. We walk up to a heater, and I could smell the pee and the poo. And I was going to demonstrate to him, say, watch, this heater's not going to turn on. Do you smell that? That rat pee and poop? Mm. This heater's going to be infested with rats. Wow. To, to demonstrate, see, watch this. You know, I turn the heater on, thinking it's not going to fire. It and fired. You heard, and then you heard... <laughs> 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 Pretty much. <laughs> it smoked. They must so have had... So Mickey and Minnie. They, they had like a full trash bag <gasps> full of crap that uh-uh. they had moved in there and just turned it yes. into a condo. We counted... 23 no. rats oh, come out gosh. of that heater. And that's just the ones we counted out. After we got the fire put out, because all that crap caught on fire. You might have burned about 10 or 15. <laughs> we had a few burn up in there, oh. but some of the ones that were running out were on fire. Did you save the ashes? So <laughs> no. <the> memorial? <laughs> so, <laughs> I almost lost that employee. Dead. He was up on the fence. These things are going in every direction. I They're climbing up the wall. They're, they're Don't just, let that happen. Typically, the reason I didn't think it was going to fire, because typically these rats, they get in there, and rats just got to chew, 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 chew. Mm-hmm. You know, just find something to chew on. And they love to get in there, and they chew on the wires, and so it shorts things out. So typically, well, it also could start a fire. It, it did start a fire. Yeah. I, I had to grab a water hose to put this heater out. out. Typically, they've already chewed through all the wires, sure. and the heater's not going to fire. But this yeah. time, something happened. You yeah, know? but I mean, if, if you're not checking your heater and you've got yes. something in there, they could and it could start a fire when and you're not. That's a good idea, folks. It's that time of year to where you're going to start using your heater. You open it up. That, open it up. You just it's got a big off. cabinet door that yeah. you open up, and then if you got any weeds or anything, just uh-huh. get it all out because okay. you don't want flame getting loose and then cause an issue. And this is in any part of the country: hot, warm, well, cold. I only know Texas rats, <laughs> but uh, you're you not know, friendly I, with I, I, like Virginia no, yeah, rats. Yeah, I've, I've never just, had any acquaintances with Kentucky rats or Florida rats. but Minnesota rats. Yeah, Florida's got rats. They're so freaking big they couldn't get in a heater. The gators eat all of them. Yeah, the so gators eat them. Now, I'm sure no manufacturer is ever going to recommend this. I've seen but things. you're going to say it. I'm going to say it. Uh, mothballs. Okay. You put mothballs in the heater cabinet, not in the burn chamber. Not in the burn chamber, people. It, but just in the cabinet. Okay. Anybody I've ever told to do this that actively did it, and you got to do it about every 30 days because mothballs, you know, right, wear right, out. Right. So you put mothballs in, in the cabinet. I've never had to go back to one that had mothballs in it and rats. Okay. It can get mothballs oh, pretty yeah. much anywhere. You know, I don't, I don't know how they make them or I don't even know how the they get their little legs apart whatever. to get them, but they, <laughs> but, but they work. 